I'm on top of the world here in Midtown Manhattan. As you can see, just behind me is Times Square as we're here at Cesar Galindo Studio. Now he's going to give us a sneak peek at his spring summer 2014 collection ahead of New York Fashion Week. I feel like you're walking into the MoMA with a collection because it's really mm -hmm. urban, urban city kind of art. Um, there's a lot of graffiti feel to it. There's really, it's a downtown girl mm -hmm. meets the uptown girl. Absolutely. So you got that, that you got that, that, that mesh of, of culture. From fun party dresses to cropped rocker jackets to loose silky pants, Cesar Galindo's latest collection is designed for every woman for every occasion. The Tsar designer invited IB Times TV to his studio in Midtown Manhattan for an exclusive sneak peek of his upcoming collection. Okay, Caesar, it's hard to imagine on this warm summer's day that last time we actually spoke was Blizzard Nemo. You were showing your fall collection. It was all about slowing down. There was a lot of texture, a lot of layering. So where are you taking us for spring, summer 2014? Uh, I'm actually doing global virtual travel, <laughs> which is like the opposite. It's like the 360 of last season's uh, theme. Um, it's about everything being at your fingertips and being able to travel all over the world and see what's going on, style. It's, you know, we're so homogenized now together with the world, so you can know what's going on in the runway immediately. So it's really all on your fingertips and dictating what style you want to be. So black and white is going to be a strong palette, you think, for spring summer? Well, I think white is the strongest palette for the season mm -hmm. going forward, and just, you can mark my words after the collections are done, <laughs> but I really feel like you're going to see it everywhere. And spring, summer 2014, what are the trends you're sending down the runway? Uh, actually, there's a, I, I see boxy tops uh, going with those great leggings that you have in your collection. Now, women have collected leggings for the last four seasons, and so it's like, it, there's a lot of open boxy tops, but boat neck, um, floaty pieces. I think it's still about comfort, you know? We like floaty pieces because then we can have a bigger lunch. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> well, uh, well, also, when it's 95 degrees outside, you don't want to be so uncomfortable. You know, you want to be, there's a, there's, a, there's a comfort zone to being dressed every day. So I think that's important. And can someone who's not as thin as CJ wear this dress, can <laughs> I, I think, pop this on? I think you could, because it just, it just complements the curve. It just, it just kind of glides on your body. It's always important for you, isn't it, to kind of dress every woman? Like, I feel like it's always very... Uh, well, yeah. Well, a lot I, of sisters, you've said. Yeah, I have, I, have, I, have a, I have a lot of women that influence my life, and I feel like if I can reach to those different body types and personalities, then I will have a solid business built, you know, through the course of time. And kind of hot in the press at the moment is the lack of cultural diversity within the models in the industry. And your shows have always kind of shown that diversity. I've seen black, Asian, Hispanic, white. Why has that always been important for you as a designer? I don't know. I, I, I live in a melting pot of the world. I live in New York City. I've always been influenced by all different cultures and races, the walk of life. And I think if, if you can show what you create on the walk of life, then you're catering to the broader spectrum of, of society. So aside from the lack of cultural diversity in the overall fashion industry, what is the one thing you would like to change the industry if you had a magic wand? I guess make every, I, I would want everyone to be happier. Yeah. You know, that honestly. Very serious, the fashion industry, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so we're making beautiful clothes, okay? At the end of the day, we're, I'm, not, I'm not doing brain surgery in a hospital. So I think sometimes we take it all too seriously. And I think it's really in, enjoying what you love to do. And I think a lot of times people forget that. I think people need to be reminded just to be happy. Absolutely. And I think so. My magic wand would be to bling and make everybody perfectly happy. I get to be a, I, it'd be a Prozac wand. <laughs> Prozac <laughs> wand. <laughs> Sally Turner, IB Times TV.